there's been so much uncertainty around Brexit for the past two years. Um, it's causing uncertainty for a lot of people in Northern Ireland, cross-border workers as well. It's delaying investments. It's delaying important decisions. Um, and what I would like to see is the withdrawal agreement ratified by the House of Commons and the European Parliament. Uh, and then um, an orderly Brexit happening and allowing us to then negotiate the future relationship. Obviously, my preferred outcome would be for the United Kingdom to change its mind and remain, but I'm realistic to know that that's, that's not You're not holding out hope for a second referendum or anything like that? Um, you know that's 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 not my business. Yeah, uh, and and I know how um, how sensitive some British politicians and the British media can be. So there's nothing they would like more than for me to call for a second referendum, yeah. so they can then jump all over that. Are you amused so I'm not by walk into that one. Are you amused by how you've become sort of a bet noir for the uh, elements of the British media and elements of the Conservative Party? Um, well, it is elements, uh, elements of the media, not it, all of it. Is it the Prime Minister? And elements of the Conservative Party? No, definitely not. No, um, um, definitely not. We have a very good understanding, in fact. And uh, there's lots, lots more we can do together once we get beyond Brexit, particularly in relation to the North. Um, but in, in terms of being being a bit of a bogeyman, I, I'm not surprised at all. There are elements and parts of the British establishment uh, that don't like um, an Irish government or an Irish Taoiseach standing up for Ireland. Uh, that they don't understand why we're not leaving too. Uh, they don't understand why we won't, to use their language, fall in line. Um, they don't understand why we're not um, helping them out rather than being committed to the European Union and you know you're making no apologies for that basically. absolutely not you know we made a decision as a country 100 years ago to be independent and we made a decision in recent decades to join the European Union and we made a very very big decision although maybe we didn't realise it at the time uh, when we voted for the Maastricht Treaty that we were going to join the Eurozone without the United Kingdom so we made the decision that our place is at the heart uh, of the European Union which we helped to build uh, and that means we're going to travel a different road to the United Kingdom, but I think it's going to be a better road.